previously. Go away, I don't want to see this puzzle anymore. And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Luna Knight, and welcome back to Professor Layton in the Curious Village. We are right where we left off, um, on our way to the cafe to meet Raymond, hopefully. Or at least find information about him. So, uh, yeah. And also, do I have anything else in my journals? Ooh. I got new in stuff, which I already knew about. Okay, yeah. And what about the painting? Do I have a scrap that I can actually put something together? Mm, I might. Um... I think it goes like this. I think this one goes this way. Come on. Straighten up you. I could definitely be wrong. Okay. Let's put this on this side. Okay. This definitely goes on the bottom. Oh, now that I think about it, these probably actually go on the bottom. Let me rotate that. Yeah. Okay, let's just leave that in there for now. And you know what? I'm just gonna. Oh, nope, okay. Uh, 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 I don't know. I have to wait till we get all the pieces. Alright, let's talk to this person. Hello. Oh there, I've never seen your mug in here before. What'll it be, pal? Oh, I'm not ordering anything. I actually just came by to inquire about a certain matter. Not here for the special then, huh? Well, what do you want to know? No one has seen or heard from Raymond, the servant at Reinhold Manor, since this afternoon. We've worked up, looked about everywhere to no avail. It's like he's just vanished from St. Mysteer. While talking with Crouton earlier, he mentioned a strange old man who said to look around the village. Do you perchance know anything about an individual? An old man? Oh, right. That rumor. That old rumor. So you've heard of him before. So you have heard of him before. If you have any information, anything at all, please share it with us. Mm -hmm. You're not from here, are you? Thing is, I can't have you spreading crazy rumors about Satan Mystery to the outside world, now can I? Of course, if you're a puzzle lover, then maybe, just maybe, I could find it in me to trust you. Whoa, I see you solved 30 puzzles. Alright, here's an earful for you. I know a fellow who swears up and down that he saw a strange old geezer skittering about town. The fellow I know is Prosciutto. He's a wee one, but he's got the appetite of a wolverine. Do you know where we might find this Prosciutto? Yes, I've already seen him. Can't say for sure, but at this hour he's probably at home snacking on something. Tossed on the road that winds up north from here. Why don't you go pay that walking ice box a, vis a visit? Oh, fancy meeting you here. I've got a doozy of a puzzle right now. It's harder to crack than a coconut. And who knows, it might even have something to do with this case you're investigating right now. So what do you say? Help a fellow detective out, will you, brother? It's all very interesting, but I do believe there's a mistake here. I'm not a detective, you see. Say no more. Undercover and all that, then yes, very well. I know, uh, but I know a fellow sleuth when I see one. As being in the same trade and all, I suppose it couldn't hurt if I let you have a look at this puzzle. Actually, just a professor, but okay. A certain town has only two barbers in it, and there aren't any other towns nearby, so everyone who lives there gets their haircut by one of these two stylists. Looking at this two fine gentlemen, which one should you go to for a haircut?
Because he probably cuts the other one's hair. That's right, everyone in the village gets their hair cut by one of the two, these two barbers. This includes the two barbers themselves. Because people don't usually cut their own hair, the stylist with the butchered haircut is probably the more skilled of the two. Oh, uh -huh, you've done it. You've solved that monster of a riddle. Simply astounding. I couldn't... I, even I couldn't do it. Oh, it wasn't that difficult. But on a more important subject, have you heard a word from Raymond lately? What's that you say, good sir? You want to solve more puzzles? Alright, then here's a gem of a tip. Is it Granny... Go visit Granny Riddleton's shack. That's all I can say. My detective's instinct tells me that another case is developing as we speak. I must take my leave now, but perhaps I'll see you again tomorrow. Okay, name scrap. Cool. No more puzzles then? Okay. Let's see if this guy actually has a puzzle for me. Okay. Coming, coming. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Um, hit coins. Ooh, another puzzle. Professor, there's a puzzle hidden over here. Oh. How many glasses? On the top row of the picture shown below, you have three cups of juice followed by three empty cups. Your objective is to change things around so that the cups are arranged as shown in the bottom row of the picture. Assuming you can only move one cup at a time and all the and that all rearrangement has to be done by hand, how many cups will you have to pick up? One. Well, here's my guess. No? He was so embarrassed. One. You can pour the drink into another, the other one. Hmm. Well, here's my guess. Professor, I solved it. That's right. Pour the contents of the second cup into the fourth cup and then turn it to its original position as shown above. This way the task set before you can be completed in one move. And you can piss off everybody. Easy. Now let's go find more puzzles. Okay, any other... Oh, don't want to talk to you again, I'm sorry. Can coin... Can mm, coin... Anything else? Nope, okay. Alright, to prosciutto. We've already met him. Ugh, I have a headache. Uh, let's turn the brightness of this light down. Sorry, guys. Had a bit of a headache. Oh, I moved it. I'm sorry. I suck. There we go. Alright, dude. Talk to me. Hey, what do you want? Start drawing so I get back to dinner. I heard from a fellow at the cafe that you witnessed a strange old man prowling about town. Can I ask for you? Can I ask you for a more detailed account of what you saw? Uh, okay, um, nom, nom. I think it was something like four days ago. Nom, 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 nom. I was on my way home from the market when I saw this creepy guy sneaking around. He is pretty creepy, so I took a closer look. Right, I wanted to make sure he didn't clean out the butcher before I got there. Up close, it was some spooky old guy with a huge nom, nom, sack. Nom, 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 nom. I yelled at him, but the geezer just bolted. I was all like, man... Hold on a second. I gotta... I don't have anything. I was all like, man, look at Gramps bust a move. Mm. I think that weirdo is the one who's been kidnapping people. You gotta be out at night. Watch yourself, you hear? I interesting. Do you have a puzzle? What do you want? 
have it. Mm, of course it's hidden. Yeah. Okay. So. Where to now? <sighs> oh gosh. Sorry, Professor. It's not, a, uh, not that the investigation is boring or anything. I'm just a little sleepy. It's gotten late. Let's report our findings to everyone at the mansion and wrap things up for today. Professor, look over there. Oh my gosh, is that Raymond? Oh, oh. Luke, hmm? sir, what? hold it there. Right behind you. <laughs> what the hell? I know we've lost him. Luke, you saw that too, didn't you? No doubt about it, that was Raymond. Does that mean that the kidnapper killed Raymond too? Ah! Steady there, Luke. I think we'd do well to return to the side of Raymond's abduction. The kidnapper may have left a clue behind, you see. Right, lead on, Professor. Mysterious rumbling was added to your list of mysteries. We need to go sweep the side of Raymond's abduction for clues. You're absolutely right, Professor. Professor, look at this. Hey, it's another cog. This appears to be identical to the item recovered from the crime scene at Reinhold Manor. Do you think it might help us find who is responsible for both crimes? Perhaps. At any rate, our first priority is to report our findings to Lady Dahlia. Come on, Luke. Back to the manor. Ooh. Turn dark. Remy still hasn't returned to continue the investigation to find clues. Okay, cool. After witnessing Raymond's abduction, the professor and Luke returned to the manor to report their findings. We have urgent news. Raymond has been abducted. What? How? Who? How? I must inform the madam at once. Madam, something terrible has happened. So are you saying that Raymond has also been involved in some kind of foul play? No, we can't be sure of that yet. However, time is of the essence. We must organize the search to locate him post-haste. Mr. Layton, what is the meaning of this? Why do you insist on whipping up the town into a frenzy? The situation has changed recently, Inspector. We saw Raymond being abducted in town. I'm afraid you may have a serial murder on your hands. We must rally the people of St. Mystery to organize a search. Mr. Layton, last time I checked, this was my case, not yours. It's too late to start looking tonight. We'll organize a search first thing in the morning. We have no time to debate whether or not to wake up a few sleepy villagers. While we sit here bickering, poor Raymond may already be. Uh, everyone, your attention, please. Honestly, Matthew, can't you see we're busy right now? What is it? My sincerest apologies, ma'am, but it's Raymond. He, he's returned. Returned, but... Yes, after the professor honored us with a visit, went to the market to do the shopping. Why do you ask? Just, what is going on here? There you have it, Layton. Now will you finally leave the detective work to the detective? But we saw it. We saw it happen right before our eyes. Raymond, don't you remember any of this? That's enough, Luke. But, no, he was... I must apologize, Inspector Chelmy. It was dark out and seems I was mistaken in what I saw. Now, if you excuse us, it's been a very long day. I do believe we could use a little rest. Oof, I certainly agree. The last thing we needed some drowsy scholar creating a panic in the village. Well, good night to you all, then. That didn't seem right. The cafe owner, Crumb, was extremely helpful. He told us where we can find a man who had a run-in with the aged kidnapper. This witness lives just north of the cafe. I hope against hope that Raymond is merely off somewhere napping, but I have a dreadful feeling that the worst has happened. In any case, I must talk to this prosciutto. To our shock, we stumbled across the very kidnapper we were investigating just as he nabbed Raymond and dashed off. We tried to report our findings to the inspector forthwith, but just as we were about to reveal our findings to our bewilderment, Raymond returned home. Just what is going on here? Fog in the streets of St. Mystery at night. Occasional thunderous rumbling fills the air. The noise is rumored to come from the tower, but no one in town seems to know the origin of the sound. Villagers claim that the noise has increased in frequency as of late. That's the same thing as this noise. 
And I got another painting piece. But not another corner. Okay. Any hint coins in here? It being nighttime and all. No? Okay. Do you have a puzzle for me? No matter how I try, I just can't seem to find that special someone. Tell me, Professor, what does an eligible bachelor like myself have to do to find a girl? I had an epiphany the other day. I think the reason I'm alone is because I can't solve this puzzle. Oh, how I've tried to solve it, but no matter how many nights I spend pondering it, the answer eludes me. Please help me, Professor. I don't want to spend the rest of my life talking to my stuffed animals. Uh, you want to cut the piece of paper shown uh, in diagram one into okay wait do you want to cut the pieces of the paper shown in diagram one into pieces and then reassemble them to form a rectangle all you have to do is cut the paper shown in diagram two however in order to assemble the pieces as shown in diagram two you need to flip one of the pieces over before putting them together where should you cut the paper i'm going to turn uh without flipping of the uh, either two pieces Where should you cut the paper if you want to turn the paper in diagram one into a rectangle without flipping either of your two pieces? Because then he can just turn it. Every puzzle has an answer. That's right. Now that you know the answer, the puzzle seems quite simple, doesn't it? Oh, joy. I'm positively tingling with excitement. With that puzzle solved, I'll be sure to find a bride in no time. Pretty sure it takes a little more than a puzzle to find a bride, but, you know, what do I know? Wait. Make sure there's no puzzle hints here. No? Okay. I tried. Hey. Now oh, it's this again. Okay. No other hint coins. Okay, Matthew, do you have another uh, puzzle for me, possibly? Inspector Chelmy and Madam have already retired for the night. Raymond is likely off to the cafe. You had a very hard day, Professor. Do try and get some rest. Good night, sir. Okay, bye. I wonder if we really did just mistake what we saw on the street. I'm certain that that was Raymond. When we saw him, there wasn't the slightest hint of life in him. He may have lost consciousness, but how odd that he should return as healthy as can be an hour later. It's stranger still is the fact that he seems to have no memory of what we saw happen to him. Alright. What if they're robots? That's where the gears are coming from. What if they're all robots? I know it sounds stupid, but it would explain why he was unconscious. He shut down, and then he left the gear behind, and they were trying to fix him. Uh, okay. And that's why um, Dahlia looks exactly the same as Flora's mom, is because she's a robot made to look like her. It's so peculiar. Plus, Raymond wasn't even the first. Lots of people seem to have had the same experience. Any other village would be in a panic over something like this, but St. Mysterie... Well, it's peculiar, that's all. There is something very peculiar about this whole town. Yes, in most places, no one would stand for this, but we've already seen that St. Mystery is anything but normal. St. Mystere. St. Mystery? I don't remember. Raymond's memory was added to your list of mysteries. Was it? Good morning. They made a movie about this. Not of uh, this, but just a movie about uh, Professor Layton. 
Yes, yes, don't you worry, I'll let him know. Oh, hello there, there was a phone call for you. It was from Inspector Che, something or another. From Inspector Chelmy. He just kept saying that it was urgent and you should meet him at Reinhold Manor at once. He probably wants to talk about what happened yesterday. Maybe so, we won't know until we get there. Come, though. Come, Luke. Do you have a puzzle for me this morning, ma'am? There you are, Professor. Would you help a girl out? I've got something here I'd like you to look at. I made this darling sandwich for my special lunchbox, but the silly thing is too big. Can you make it fit? The odd sandwich. What the hell is your sandwich? Using scraps left over from your breakfast, you've managed to cobble together a rather oddly shaped sandwich. How many times must you cut the sandwich in order to make it fit neatly in the container? Just once. You cut it here and then put the other two slices in. That, you know, wasn't quite what I had in mind, but that works too. Oh, Professor, you're just the cleverest. Thank you for helping me figure this out. A uh, simple chair can go to Layton. Okay. Bye, though. Look, we must head to the manor. We mustn't keep Inspector Chelmy waiting. Waiting. You're right, Professor, but I sure wish we didn't have to talk to that old grouch again. Hello, you have another puzzle for me, sir? <laughs> Looks like you fellows are getting used to St. Mysterio. But stay sharp. Believe you me, you will be buried in all sorts of difficult puzzles before you can sell such such and scarfin. By now, I'm sure you've realized that you can reach our puzzles you felt to solve, eh? However, have you not noticed how some puzzles just seem to vanish before you can get back to them? That's right, you see. That's the way it is with some things in life. Once they're gone, they're gone. For good. But rest at ease, you two. These puzzles you thought have vanished have merely moved somewhere else. You must seek out Granny Britton Shack. The strange old building, so it should be easy enough to spot. But don't get sloppy just because you know how to reach our puzzles now. There's no honor in laziness. Now that you've got the lowdown on puzzles in town, let me throw a puzzle your way to keep you sharp. Okay. The <laughs> Alco Museum has an exhibit that spans nine rooms, as shown in the diagram below. The entrance to the complex is marked by A, and the exit is marked by B. The security guard on duty is a bit of a loafer and wants to walk each room of the exhibit while taking as few time uh, while turning as few times as possible. What is the fewest number of turns he can make while still visiting every room? As an example, the diagram below shows a course that involves six turns. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, that wouldn't work. Right, one, two, oops, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that wouldn't work. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that has six turns. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six. Eh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. I'm going to say there's a way to do it five times. So I'm going to put five in and just see what happens. I just don't know how. Four. I suppose I have thought long. The puzzle shows you an example on purpose. Sometimes seeing an example keeps people from thinking creatively. Don't get stuck in a rut. Oh, I'll try again, I guess. Okay. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four, five, six. All right, I'm gonna put in four, whoops. Okay, one, wait, okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, no, one, two, three, four, five. Is there a way to do three? One, two, one, two, Pay no mind to the sample path shown on screen. It is an additional hint for you. Nowhere within the palm does it say the guard can only enter each room once. It's okay for your path to move back on the previously visited room. Obviously. One, two, three, four, five. And I made it five. I tried five already, right? I mean, that's the first thing I tried was five. There we go. <laughs> uh. Don't waste time for shit. As the layout of the rooms and the sample path makes you feel like all your turns need to be 90 degrees, the puzzle wants you to find a solution with the fewest number of turns. That means the movement will always be in a straight line, but the angle of any given turn is up to you. One. Wait. Can I... Three. I don't know. I tried three. Let's put two. That should do it. Another puzzle solved. So, yep, he can walk directly. One or one, two. Yep. That's right, the security guard takes the path like the one shown above. He can finish his patrol in all nine rooms in just two turns. Since the example shows the guard turning right angles to go from room to room, it's easy to assume your solution works the same way, even though that's not the case. Okay, yep, you got me. <laughs> now that's what I like to see. Some seems training I've been giving you has paid off. No, no, no need to thank me. Anyhow, who'll be seeing you around? Uh, that's gonna be best to leave. Holy crap. That was quite the puzzle. 
<laughs> feel really well. Uh, good luck, fellows. We'll need it. I don't. I, I accidentally clicked through what he said. My bad. Oh well. Hey, Zeke. What's poppin'? Hey, Professor. Looking busy as usual, yep. Oh, I've got this puzzle I just can't figure out on my own here. Can you help me with your thinking cap? Zeke. Hmm. Below are six linked rings. They may look like a tangled mess, but there is one ring that, if cut away, would leave the remaining five rings connected end to end in a long chain. Okay. Which one must you cut in order to make the chain? Choose one from the answers below. This one. There we go. Another puzzle solved. Good job. If you examine the connections for each ring, the answer is surprisingly easy, isn't it? So that's how I do it, yeah? I can finally rest tonight. The thing was bugging me for days. Let me tell you something neat. And by neat, I mean terrifying. The thing is that I've actually seen the old man with the big sack coming out of that tower up north. I bet your dollars to donuts that he's the one behind all these disappearances. I want donuts now. I wonder what he does up there. Wait, no, I don't even want to think about it. It's just too scary. Oh, pile of books. Layton. With his bookshelf. Okay, okay. Do you also get mad if I... Oh, you won't even let me go through there. Okay. You got any new riddles for me, Granny? Nope. Okay. No more riddles. Bye, though. Hey, what's this? What's this on the ground? Looks like a scrap of notebook, note paper. What's it say, Luke? Well, let's see here. <clears throat> it's just terrible. Lady Violet has an awful case of the flu and hasn't left her bed for days. I'm no doctor, so I can't think of any way to help her. Oh, what to do, what to do. Lady Violet. Oh, this journal must be talking about Baron Reinhold's first wife. My heart is heavy as I write these words. The loss of his wife has completely crushed to the bones. If only there was something I could do to help. He walks around looking like he's had the wood knocked out of him. And that's the end. Gosh, whoever wrote this must have uh, cared an awful lot for the Baron and his family. Hmm. Yo. Hey there, Professor. I bet you're here to solve my puzzle, right? I'm right, aren't I? Yep, of course I'm right. Okay. View it says. Oh. Two boys are playing a game in which the goal is to take the longest route possible from point A to point B. Uh, I'll show them the map below. The only rule is that no section of the road can be traversed more than once. What course should they take in order to cover the longest distance possible before between point A and B? I want to say that's it, but let's see what else I got. No, nope, that's shorter. Alright, let's just try that and see what happens. There we go. We're okay. Plenty of time for shapes. Give it another shot. As a general rule, you should try to cover as many of the roads as possible. In the example above, it appears that the boy who walked the green path covered quite a bit of distance. However, as shown by the dotted lines, the roads this boy passed up on his way to point B add up to quite a distance. Okay. We can't backtrack. So 
work my way backwards. Oh, I can't pass that far there. All right, let's try that one. Here's my answer. No? Okay. I suppose I was both wrong. All right, I found a decent number of hint coins. Let's try some hints. Many people think they have to answer on the first try only to discover otherwise. Try to walk as much of the road as possible. Yeah, no shit. The area that the boys are walking is a square that's more or less composed of long and short sections of road. After you charted out your course, you think you have the answer, take a quick look around and see how much of the road you left untouched. Starting out from point A, head as far to the left as possible. When you reach the left border, start heading south. The longest path you could draw will form an S-shaped line through the middle of town. I already tried this one, didn't I? Okay, there we go. Critical thinking is the key to success. There we are. Nice work. Speaking of leisurely strolls, have you been outside today? It's if it's sunny, why not go for a nice walk? I have been outside today. It's actually raining. Bang up job there, Professor. Even that puzzle didn't phase you, huh? Of course not. You're a pro. Yep, you're a real piece of work, Prof. Do you know that? Of course you do. You're a scholar after all. Hey, the candle's gone. Hey, cat. What's up? Well, if it isn't Claudia out and about, and that reminds me of, this, of a puzzle. Of this puzzle, give it a try, boy. Lame cats. There are three different colors of plush cats before you. The color of a cat denotes its weight. Examples one and two show their relative weights. You have three red cats and four black cats loaded on one side of the scale. On the other side of the scale, there are four white cats and one black cat. Given the setup, will the scale tip left, right, or stay level?
I mark out the three and one, no, because the black hats are heavier. One white and two black. Okay, so four is equal to five. Two and one is equal to three. So let's pretend instead of the three red cats, there are two more black cats and a white. So that would make six. And five is equal. Okay. So mark out this. And that would be two black cats and a white cat here instead. So there'd be one white cat and six black one black the left side would be heavier excellent if you replace the red and white cats with black ones the puzzle becomes much simpler once you make the replacements, you have six black cats on the right and six black cats plus a white one on the left. Thus, the skull would tip to the left. Yep, that's what I did. Once you realize how you need to look at things, it's not terribly difficult to solve now, is it? Cool. Awesome. Lovely. I don't think I'm ready to go inside yet. Ooh. Today marks our second day in St. Mysterio, and I was secretly hoping I could start the day off properly with a little tea, but no such luck. I need to give me some tea. We've been summoned to Rhineholm Manor and must hurry over to meet the inspector before he loses patience. When Leighton and Luke finally tracked down Raymond, they were shocked to see him being kidnapped by an old man. Shortly thereafter, Raymond returned to the mansion with no memory of ever being adopted or stuffed into his sack. What happened? What's happened to Raymond's memory? Well, it's better, but there's still much to be done. What about you? Getting there, I suppose. I need a chair. I have to give this chair to you. Okay. Okay. All right. What did I just give to Elaine? Okay. All right. Uh, okay. I think they like their uh, their room so far.
Okay, we got more pieces. Let's, uh, let's. Ooh, this piece matches with this one. That's nice. Um. That one matches with that one. That's cool. Maybe it goes here. No, it doesn't make sense. Hmm. Maybe it goes on this side. And this actually goes over here. Let's try this one. I quite like puzzles. This looks like it goes not quite. Maybe I have the whole thing sideways. I don't really know what to do with this one. Uh, maybe it goes there. Um, let's try you. Okay. That's nice. No, not quite. Maybe this way. Hmm. You go up here. Whoops. Come on, turn sideways. And you go here. You don't quite go. Maybe there. Back here. Mm, okay. Yep, that goes there. Oh, no, stay. Okay. Cool. Seems like I'm getting it. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to leave that episode there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever we decide to make. Good night, signing out. Bye.